any of that. I believe the simulation is controlled, run by, invented by, and the custodians are 100% human. Although the human type may be far more developed than we are. Because you and I, talking through this screen right now, we are interacting as beings with most of, most of our gene sequences switched off. The capacity of the human physica physicality, intellectual capacity, and even our spiritual intuition, imagination, uh, our emotional capacity, and many other abilities that we don't even know we have, they have been switched off, and for good reason. You can't have seven billion superheroes running around the simulation. It's going to alter the output. Simulation theory does not just entail that everything is artificial and it's coded and that it's a copy of what is a real universe, simulation theory entails something far deeper. There must be misery. There must, there must be hunger. There must be all the negative base human emotions. It must be in a predator versus prey ecosphere. These things are necessary because it has to fool those in the maze. The mice must never look up and know that they are in a maze. Because once the mice in the collective act like they're in a maze, then it alters the outcome of the program. This can't be allowed to happen. This is why resets happen. The collective cannot wake up. Because when they do, it completely alters the whole intent behind creating the simulation itself. So. When you're looking at apocalyptic literature, you have to look at it from the vein that they knew these things were going to happen because they experienced them. Every reset has always had great and wise men and women who recorded what happened in the past. Those records were passed on beyond the memory of the events themselves and became our prophecies.